What's up you guys, it's Marissa from Push Past Paralysis back with another video. Today I wanted to talk about a question that was posed to me on Twitter a few days ago and I've kind of talked about this topic in the past but I figured I'd give you an evolved, updated answer if it's at all different from my last one. Um, so the question was, basically what do I think about a news story where the person that they were featuring had a disability and the newscasters framed this person as an inspiration. Now, first, first of all, I don't think there's a blanket answer to any of this. This is just my opinion, and I can't speak for anybody else. Having said that, there is a large population of the disabled community who frowns upon stuff like that. They don't like being called an inspiration because it gives off the air of, oh, you didn't think I could do this. And I, and I could, you know, so I get it, but, and, and I used to feel that way too. When I was little, you know, things like that just kind of got to me. But as I've grown up into a woman and realized that, you know, words are words, perspectives are perspectives, it hasn't bothered me. On top of that, after losing my brother seven years ago to suicide, if somebody wants to look at me getting out of bed, which I do every day, and doing things that are mundane to me or normal to me as an inspiration to them, and it helps them in some way, I'm all for it. I'm all for that. And I can't claim to know what it's like to lose an ability because I was born this way. I've never had certain abilities. And the ability to walk was something I never wanted because the only memories I've had of it were clunky braces and a walker and I hated it. So it, it's not like I want to. But I don't see the harm in being called an inspiration or a motivation or anything like that. Because just because I'm physically disabled, you don't know what somebody else is going through mentally or, or emotionally. That I may be able to, whether it's just my presence or whether I could talk to them without even mentioning my wheelchair, mind you. And, you know, help them in some way, whether it's, you know, a friend, a family member, a stranger, a client, you know, for life coaching or something. Or whether somebody reads something in my books that inspires them or gets them out of a dark place or anything like that. I will never frown upon being looked at as an inspiration. Do I think that I am? Do I think like high and mighty of myself that I am? No, I'm just living my life. But I think that everybody can gain some type of inspiration from somebody doing the most normal things like throughout the day. Like, if you're having a shitty day and, like, a baby comes by in uh, the carriage or whatever, the stroller, and it's the baby's giggling, like, that's going to change your day. So, I don't think inspiration necessarily has to be this big grand thing that people with disabilities make it out to be and take such offense to. It could be small for reasons you don't even know personal to the person saying it. So I, in my opinion, I just wouldn't brush it off. I wouldn't scoff at it. I wouldn't get mad at it. But that's just me. And you're on my channel, so you're going to listen to my point of view. All right, so there it is. That's all I have to say. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, share this video if it inspired you in some way. Also, you like my Salty Savage shirt, I have a code that's not my code in the description, uh, along with the website. They have a ton of cool shirts. I'm probably going to get more. And I will talk to you guys next time.